Hi guys, welcome to Flying Grip Academy. Today we are going to discuss how to install MySQL. So in order to install MySQL, go to the Google and search for MySQL. So now here you are having a community server to download the MySQL. So here you can able to download the MySQL installer and uh, you can go to the download page. So here you can able to download MySQL installer. So here you click no thanks just start my download so that it will be downloaded in your machine in a similar manner you are going to download mysql connector so here you are having a mysql connector java which you can able to download so go to the archives and you can see which uh, particular operating system you want to download so now select platform independent and uh, you can download the zip version click on download now we have downloaded mysql installer successfully so now we are going to click on setup in order to install the mysql so click on s and click s so now here you can able to select developer by default or server only click on the setup full and click on next so click on next so here you click on this one to install mysql server 8.0.31 click execute now you have installed successfully mysql so now click on the next and here it is going to ask the port number 3306 so instead of 3306 so i am going to give 3030 so here x protocol so so here we will give 3036 So now here we will take a screenshot by using a snipping tool so because we need to know which particular port number we have given so for that i have taken a screenshot so file save as mysql so save it in desktop so that uh, that particular screenshot will be saved in your pc click on next so it is going to ask a password click on next so it is going to ask a root password and uh, you need to use that particular root password so here i am going to type root and root so it is showing password weak so root at the rate one two three root at the rate one two three so click on next and which particular service you are using this one so click on next yes grant access you are running windows service so now execute so click on finish and click on next so now we have finished the setup So here you need to type the password root at the rate one two three. So you can check the connectivity. Now connection is succeeded. So click on next and execute. So now click on finish. So everything is complete. You are having a Apache NetBeans. Here I have opened a Apache NetBeans. So now what i am going to do is i am going to connect my uh, this particular one by using a my apache netbeans so here i can able to type my sql so here you can able to select a command line so it is going to ask the password so here you can able to change 
options. You can change the font. So now password is root at the rate one two three. So now you are con connected. Show DB in databases. So. So it is going to show the databases uh, present in your system. So now here what the thing you need to do is you need to go to the services in the tab of uh, NetBeans and once you click the services and here you are having a database. So now here I am going to click the database and uh, you can able to create, uh, create a driver. So here what the thing you need to create is you need to create a driver for my SQL server. So now if you are going to click the connect. So now the port number is 3030. 3030 we have given and the password is root at the rate 1, 2, and OK click yes. So now it's going to show the server may not running. So what you need to do is new connection. So click on new connection and you need to add the driver. So we have already downloaded the driver which we have downloaded here zip file. So go to the zip file uh, and uh, extract the files, cut this file and uh, go to the C drive and uh, create a folder connector so now within this connector I am going to paste it and click here and extract all the files so now the files are been extracted now double click folder so now here the particular jar file which you are having the file name is mysql connector j 8.0.7 so now copy this particular file and where you are going to see that file go to the program files and go to the after foundation tomcat 10.0 and uh, go to the libraries now paste that particular jar file mysql connector so now what i am going to do is so here it need to have a driver and you are going to click to add a driver so where the particular driver is residing so go to the C drive and go to the program files and go to the Apache Software Foundation Tomcat and go to the libraries so which particular driver you need so go to the driver and click on the driver so click on next so now which port you are going to connect so now I already have taken a screenshot on your desktop and I am going to connect the ports 3030 username is root and password is root at the rate 1 2 3 click on next or you can able to test the connection from here itself so click test connection so what it is showing at the bottom now it has been successfully created the connection with the MySQL. So now click on start the services of MySQL server local host. So now here once you type root at the rate one two three, click on OK. So now what it is showing the server has been connected and now click on this one. So now what are the contents which is showing if you are going to show the DB information schema it is showing here MySQL it is showing here performance schema it is showing here Sekila it is showing here and Sys it is showing here and world it is showing here all the content which are displayed whenever you are going to type the command show databases all the databases are shown here so this is the way to connect the database
so now what i am going to do is uh, i am going to create a database and uh, you can able to uh, see the database over there so now here i am going to create a database name login so now i have created a database login so now it is going to show one row is affected here so now here if you one, once again you expand this one and uh, you refresh and now it is showing a lo login database is created here now i am going to use a database use database login so now it is going to use the database login sorry so here we need to remove the database use login so now the database is changed now if you want to create a table and now we can able to create a table by using this one <coughs> so now i am going to create a table so now here i am going to create table and table name so here i am going to create a table name is login and now here what are the fields you need to require in order to login so username and here i am going to give varchar2 of 10 uh, and here i am going to give the password comma user password user pwd so now user password and here also i am going to type varchar2 so it contains 12 fields so otherwise if you want to set uh, this one as a primary key and uh, you can able to set this one as a primary key so we can remove uh, varchar2 so now let us insert some values inside the table insert insert into login values so now here I am going to type the name Flying Grip Academy. So is the username and here I am going to type the password. So here I am going to type the password as Pradeep. So now which I have typed and now so it is showing data to alarm for column 1. So here actually we have given only 10 characters and we have typed long flying grip. So now it is showing one row affected. So here uh, you are having a MySQL connectivity and at the bottom uh, you are having a localhost 3030 which you have connected. So click on this particular login and now here it is selected PayPal schema and click on this one and here you can able to see login and expand this login and here you are having a tables check the tables and you are having a login so now if you click this one so here it is going to show username and password so now add a column if you want to add a column and you can able to add the name of the column for example uh, in a third field you can able to add otherwise uh, you can able to use this particular username and password and you can able to view the data which is uh, residing in your table so now here uh, the username it is showing flying grip and if you want to add one more uh, data so here you are having a insert a record you can able to click and add a row you can able to add as many number of rows you can able to add 
in a similar manner you can able to click on the password field and uh, similarly you can able to add different uh, fields of the password so like that you can able to uh, see whatever the data you have been inserted and if you want to delete you can able to delete the record or you can able to drag it from the table so now so now uh, if select start from login so now it is going to show the username and as well as a password so in this manner you can able to connect with the mysql and netbeans connectivity so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching